Guess what? I'm posting in 10 minutes. No. So guess where Silver Squad's gonna no. be first? No, it's not. It's gonna be my thing because it's on my channel first. It can't be your thing. Yes, it I, is. I already have this is gonna, You know what? This is gonna be my intro. It's gonna be oh, my yeah? intro. You're gonna get it first? No! No, 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 no! no! Silver huggers. I hate this. <laughs> this is what we used to do at Denny House. Hey, post your video. Oh. Post your me watching it so I can post it today. Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> just do he petting a pup for five minutes. Oh yeah, you, you keep going. I'm gonna do it with get the peanut butter. <laughs> got my baby girl right now. Yeah, but he's gonna do it with peanut butter. If he was gonna do it without peanut butter, then it'd be like weird. Let, right. let me tell you about Heath's uh, childhood. You did not. No. You put, you put peanut butter on your pee pee and let no. a dog lick it? He's sick no, of... what's wrong with you? You did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> No! I know a girl who did that in high school. She put it on her thingy? Yeah. Hold on. Her dog Are you serious? <gasps> Why? Yeah. Yeah. She found out the dog really liked peanut butter, so she put it on well, her. Everybody knows dogs like peanut butter. On her, on her, on her, on her. Huh? Should I call her? <laughs> yeah. Hey, girly. Remember when you like uh, uh, put like peanut butter in your <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, I know. Why do you call it dog chicken? Chicken muffin. I don't understand that. What does that mean? Isn't that obvious? Yeah, it doesn't remind me of a chicken muffin at all when I see her. She gets your eyes checked, sir. Speaking of chicken muffins, that's that sounds really nice. It's like showing like uh, Chick Fil A breakfast. I could see that being like a KFC chicken, chicken muffins. Muffin. You should come up with a chicken muffin. No, I should do a video of me making a chicken muffin. That's a good idea. Is cool. you cooking our dog? <laughs> <laughs> I should be in the video since I. Came up with that idea. I'll, I'll I should be in it too because I cook. So you should do a video with Zan and he. We should get peanut butter too. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies. Long time no see. It's tough when our friends are on tour. Yeah. <laughs> We're not relevant enough. God, I kind of forced myself on that thing. I wasn't even supposed to be with David and Jason. I kind of invited myself. Carly has a very weird, weird disturbing, not really disturbing story. Yeah, trigger warning. So this is like a friend of a friend. So it didn't happen to me, didn't happen to the friend, happened to her friend. I know it sounds like it's not real, but I promise it is. Carly already said this story to me, but my jaw was dropped the entire time. Like, something you hear in movies or you like- You have to tell me what I'm oh, doing. Right, <laughs> my friend's friend was like in Ohio or something. She was dog sitting. Of course it was in Ohio. Right? <laughs> this family, it was just like a married couple. Adopted dog that was pretty old. So this is the first time they left the dog to go on vacation. And I guess the dog had like some sort of like separation anxiety or whatever. And so as soon as the parents got on the plane to leave, the friend was just at the house doing whatever and she looked over and the dog was literally just dead. I didn't know the dog had separation anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Oh my God, that's why I died? I, I don't really know. I think it was like a combination of being old and like relying on people. This girl doesn't drive at all. So she's like, I don't know what to do with this dog. Like, do I bury it? Do I try to like take it in an Uber to like a yeah. vet or something? Like, I don't know what to do. So she called her friend and the friend was like, well, you can't bring a dead dog in an Uber. Like, is there anything you can put it in to like take transportation to a vet or something? Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> he finds a suitcase. <laughs> this dog is like a medium sized dog. Too. Yeah. It's not a small fluffy dog. It's probably like the size of so she didn't really, she didn't really have much of an option at this point. She was just right. like, I'm by myself with a dead dog in a suitcase. So she puts the dead dog in the suitcase. She goes to a train station. She has to take the train yeah. to the vet. She's going down this like big set of stairs to get to the train. And this guy is like watching her struggle with it because it's pretty heavy. And he's like, do you need help with that? Like I can take it down for you. And she's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. She gets like halfway down the stairs and she's like, I can't carry this. So she has the guy carry it down. Uh huh. And he says, he's like, I'm really sorry. Like if this, you don't have to tell me or anything, but like, well, I just want to know, like, why is your suitcase so heavy? And off the top of her head, she was like, oh, it's a laptop. It's an iPad. It's like all these electronics. It's just really heavy yeah. for school. And he's like, oh, okay. So she gets on the train, uh, go to where she needs to go. The doors open up and the guy, knowing it's electronics, takes the suitcase and runs off. Takes the suitcase and leaves. <laughs> With a dead dog. This With a, a dead dog. <laughs> As this couple's in the plane on their way to wherever they're going, their dog has died, been on a train, dead, in a suitcase, now been stolen by somebody. This guy's probably gonna go and be like, fuck yeah, I got a bunch of electronics. It opens up and it's a dead a dog. Are you far? serious? Like, well, How far do you think he got before he realized that it was a dog? The story has been in Cosmo and stuff because it was so ridiculous. That's insane. I'm still mind blown. The fact that this guy <laughs> thinks that there's a bunch of electronics in there. It was a Dog. That's like the biggest karma anyone could <laughs> yeah. ever get. What's so sad is that this guy probably just threw it to the side of the road. No, I know. Yeah. Obviously, it was such a beloved pet if it like died yeah. because its owners yeah. left. Oh. oh my. Sorry if that was a hard story for anybody to hear, but it's <laughs> insane. Holy shit. Comment below if you're the guy who stole the dog. Yeah, where the f is this guy? Know what happened. I just want to talk to him real quick. Before we go inside, I was on Virgin trying to buy a flight. Did you know Virgin is making an airline? You go to Virgin <laughs> and you could go to the moon. <laughs> Wait, wait, what? what? It's, called, what it's, called, it's, called, it's called Virgin Galactic. Oh, you just go to the moon. I think I'll, I think I'll go to the moon. No, 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 it's a spaceship. A spaceship shaped like an airplane. No, it's a spaceship. But, like, it's, you look at it, it looks like a big, giant, like, airplane. One day, you're just like, you know what? 
Instead of going Hawaii, let's go to the moon. Well, we'll have to be a fucking astronaut. astronaut anymore right. to go to NASA no, and get their astronaut I degree. don't think so. Apparently, you just pay $250,000 <laughs> to get on Virgin Galactic. So the only and... person who can do it is David. David blindfolds us. <laughs> <laughs> What's the insurance policy on, like, Wait. if you take a whole plane like, to go to the moon? Like an astronaut is flying the plane, and then there's a bunch of passengers that are just normal humans, not actual astronauts. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. Or so it, many questions. Right, like, one day I wake up, I'm like, here's $250,000, let me fly this rocket ship. Virgin Galactic. <laughs> this is real. It's being made. Taking more and more passengers out into space. I'm bored. Stephen Hawking, guys. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Imagine, like, popping them out. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but I say there's, like, someone connected to wires. And it's just a minority report, like, three lines. Like, look, it's a flight. It's an airplane. Is that a missile? You get on the wrong flight. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to get on the next I thought I was going to Minnesota. Hey, this is his flight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Virgin saved the minute. Shoo on, shoo on. They make a whole new one for the moon. <laughs> you got some safety tips that you gotta know. The lifeless robots, if you want to go out on the moon, wear a helmet. If you want. It's literally a plane right to no, the moon and back. The Snapchat story goes from like, I got on the wrong flight. <laughs> to the Snapchat filter and him being on the moon. Like, <laughs> like you want to stay there? If you're paying a quarter of a million dollars. I hope you want to stay there for more than a couple days. <laughs> Look, Matt. <laughs> Somebody didn't put up their tray table. <laughs> I mean, not, it's not airplane mode on your phone. It's like spaceship mode. It, it just goes in space and then comes back down. I don't think so. There's no way. I think you land on the moon. It's a one-way trip. Goodbye. But then you have to like go to space camp. It, exactly. Like, why pay a quarter of a million dollars to just fly by the moon? Like, like, you get that point, you're like, just fucking whatever. <laughs> me, like after you had all that money, you've seen everything, you've done everything. Why not wrong with 25 million? Just but just imagine the middle of the show, just like. We're having some technical <laughs> difficulties. It's like, oh, sorry, it's a cloudy day today. Like, <laughs> up there in space, and it's just like, like... We need to take an emergency landing on Mars. We don't know if we can land here. Can you imagine when the thing, like, dropped from the plane, started shooting, like, what that feels like? You like, feel like you're plummeting to the Earth. And where does that other plane go? So can we get, like, yeah. two trips? Like, all right, we're going to Vegas. Zane's going to the moon. And just, like, <laughs> they're like, guys, this flight is overbooked. Um, does anybody want to go to the moon? <laughs> the moon comes out. <laughs> Their helmets are just, like, so Ran around, just like <laughs> attach you to like five drones. That's it. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff for me and all my friends. Start of the week goes to Scott. Are you so, whoever is here though, thank you so much for keeping up with all my stuff and watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. Peace. Scott, do you have uh, anything else to add before we conclude this uh, lovely oh, video? <laughs>